Howdy folks. I was working with uh, my gripper, the 3D printed knockout gripper, and I was going through the saw and I got about halfway through and I started noticing something. This was slipping. Now, it wasn't slipping on the main body because I have a little lock back here that was, that, was, that was holding it, but this side here where the offcut was started to pull away and I started to slip and I mean everything started to slip with, with this so-called gripper. Wow, whoa, that's scary. That was slipping. Oh man. All right. Jesus. Looks like I had the ultimate scare. The uh, this is holding here nicely and was pulling it through, but this was slipping. What I was really demonstrating there was for you guys, not for this cut, but I wanted to show you this. This is the, uh, I guess, okay, the knockoff gripper, whatever. Uh, it's a 3D printed tool, and I glued this uh, rubberized non slip, you know, rubberized backing on here to try to help it so it wouldn't slip on the, uh, you know, wouldn't slip on this. But even if you push down a little bit, it's still kind of slippery. So I ran out and I picked up, I actually borrowed this from another wood shop. I picked up the actual gripper from Microjig and figured I would take a look and see what are they using. And this is a really hard rubber bottom and guess what? Oh yeah, it, it, it just, you know, if you want to talk about slipping, look at this. That slips even more. Now, mind you, this is a painted surface. Uh, let's get a block of wood and uh, just see, but between the two of them, this one grips better than this, and this isn't the answer. I really don't like what's going on here because, like I said, it's it has slipped on me, and I've had some reports of uh, other customers complaining that they've got the actual uh, micro uh, jig gripper, this one here, and that they're slipping when they're going through the saw. And of course, slipping around this thing here, <gasps> we don't want that, no. So we're gonna take a look and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with this one today and see if we can get this problem resolved or at least get a better, you know, and away from this business of just, this thing is just skating. Let me get another board though. So what I've got here is just a, fairly smooth piece of average board scrap that I've got laying around. And I just wanted to show you this micro shake. If you push it like this, obviously it's not grabbing the board. If you push down, it's still slipping. The board's not even moving. Look at this. And I mean, I'm, I've got, you know, pressure on that thing. And this one here, if I press down a little bit even, I've got the board, you know. So this is working better than the original uh, so-called gripper. I really don't understand what the technology was here. I was just surprised because I really expected to see something that would <sighs> grip wood better than this rubber, hard rubber they've got on here. But I've been hearing a lot of complaints in the industry from fellow woodworkers about having one of these and not using it. They don't trust it, they don't like it, and it does, you know, and if it slips like that and you, you know, run into the whatever, you know, the blade, whatever, the other problem with this particular model, and I don't know if they're all like this, I have to get, I need some comments, guys, I really do need some comments on this one, but the, there's no stop back here, so this thing can just keep going. This one here that's made on the 3D printer is wider, obviously, and has, like I said, I had, this is one, something I added, so this doesn't come with instructions or anything, it just, I glued, you know, non-slip rubber on here, but it also has this little thing, a little tab at the back here, that hangs down, to grab the lumber so that you're locked in kind of thing when you're pushing through. But the problem I, I ran into <clears throat> the other day was this piece right here wasn't, was sliding and it was allowing the off cut to come loose and stall while I was going through with the main body. So that's not a good thing. So let's just, let's just do this again. But here, I'm, I'm pressing with this and you see I have pretty good hold on that piece of lumber. There's the uh, gripper, and look at this. You know, I got almost, <sighs> hmm, yeah, there you go. It's just, it's just sliding around. 
not safe and I'm not sure what to make of it because like I said this is this is the area where I'm thinking we've got a problem and I'm thinking that's a dangerous uh, item if it slips this one here is is better but it has slipped too so that's really not the answer so got an idea today uh, I'm just thinking uh, why don't we do this why don't we get some 80 grit sandpaper and glue it on the back here and see if that'll grab even better. I'm just looking for maximum grab, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, here we go. I ran over to uh, the big box store, you know, Walmart, <laughs> and bought some cheap uh, sandpaper that included 80 grit in the pack. So we're gonna see if we can get the sandpaper out of here. And I like to keep these things fairly neat so that I can keep my sandpaper in these because it helps to keep the sandpaper flat. If you've ever had curled up sandpaper, it's, uh, yeah, it gets kind of disgusting. And the very first sheet they showed in the store here, I think was 80. Yep, there we go. Yeah, 80 grit. So I'm thinking if I glue this to this and then trim it out like I did with this rubber stuff, that this will be a better, uh, you know, it'll grab, you know, better. Wow, and it won't slide on wood. And that way this thing here won't slip. As for the uh, micro jig, actual gripper, I'm a little confused over that because I've had a lot of complaints about it uh, emailed to me in discussions. So like I said, I need some comments guys because the I think that micro jigs gripper is really cool, but I'm seeing some problems. If you, uh, if you know of anybody that's had some problems with that, let me know. I guess the first thing I've got to do is get this off. Yeah, and it's going to peel off pretty easily. Yeah, well, just fingernail it a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I have yet to find good glue for PLA. There's, there's been some different things out there that they've talked about. Looks like I'll have to sand this before I even put the sandpaper on it. This one here, yeah, same thing. It just kind of, yeah, we'll sand this up. We'll rough this up a little bit. Look at how easy that just peeled off. Let's see, it's, yeah. Yeah. I think I used Gorilla Glue, but I really, to tell you the truth, I'm not even sure. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. Uh, I'm sure glad the cleaning lady comes through once so in a while to clean the floor up for me. All right. So we got it roughed up a little bit. Yep, that's definitely roughed up. And all I got to do is pour glue over this nasty thing and lay it down the, there, let it sit for a bit, an hour or whatever. And hopefully we should have something. Well, I'm gonna try this uh, super glue from Loctite first and just see if that'll, if that'll hold it. I think it will, but there we go. And I'll just put it on like, wee. Yeah, I'm gonna put lots of super glue on this. Hopefully it's not doesn't cure in seconds or something or we'll be out of luck here in a second too but there we go super glue from Loctite bang there we go she's on I've had different experiences with PLA plastic as far as glue goes but it seems like it's uh, on there pretty good yeah, it seems like it's stuck pretty good. Okay, so the next part of this, don't let the wife see this or she'll kill you. I'm going to take a pair of scissors and cut all that out. <laughs> yeah. So, I got some junk scissors that I found in a drawer that was in my toolbox, so I guess won't destroy the wife's scissors today. Yeah, lucky her. Anyway, so, yeah, there's the some of it. I'm going to take a razor blade, or well, they call it a razor blade, it really isn't for shaving or anything, but, and see if I can't uh, get that trimmed up a bit better. So we're back over here at the table for a minute, and I just want you to see this. This thing is just, I can't get over how, how easy and how good that's grabbing. In fact, my screws are even getting a little loose in the handle here, but uh, I can grab that piece of board i got full control over it. This one here, yeah, if I 
if I'm trying to push down on it like that, you can see it's it's grabbing a little bit but sliding. I'm really not sure what the what the deal is with this. So we can get some comments flying and uh, talk about the difference here of what's going on because I'm getting a lot of complaints about the gripper uh, sliding and not gripping. <laughs> I thought that's what it's for is to grip, you know. So yeah, uh, this uh, simple trick, but. I guess you could probably get some 80 grit paper and I don't know what kind of glue to use. Gorilla glue, Loctite, something, throw that on there, put your 80 grit on there and make this thing so it does grip because obviously that's, that's, you know, that's not, that's not gripping anything. Look at this. Just the way that stops, you can tell it's grabbing, you know. Anyway. Oh, okay. Wow. So once again this week. Uh, this is just Monday or whatever at the top of the week, but thanks again for watching. Thanks for viewing. Thanks for watching Coffee and Tools. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, this last few weeks has been really great. I really love what I'm seeing going on and it's helping me to develop, you know, more interesting storylines and things of what goes on in the garage day to day around here. But this is, this is something that uh, just sort of came up in the last couple of weeks. And when I was cutting and I noticed the slippage, uh, I thought, you know, we need to do something about this. I thought, we need an episode. <laughs> Over and out.